Yeah, the opening statement uh, I, I'd appreciate because our guys played such a fine game that we ask about our team um, as far as what we did, uh, what we were capable of doing tonight, uh, both uh, offensively and defensively, and then the third part being special teams. Uh, a lot of the week leading up to this day was about the fourth quarter of, of, of UC Davis's dominance, uh, about their offense. Uh, I think we forgot... Uh, uh, you know, which was fine. Uh, but as with this game played out, I'd like to just speak upon our guys and our performance today um, and, and what we did uh, to put these guys on the pedestal, the forum, uh, or the platform they were on and played incredibly well, incredibly humble, incredibly together, uh, inc incredibly crisp. Uh, and it was, that was a fun game to watch. That, that was one that I wish I was on the 50-yard line with a, uh, with a uh, uh, popcorn and in one hand and a soda in the other, because to me that was fun. We had some gadgets out there. Uh, we played tremendous defense after going out to 10-0 early. Uh, it was 58 to 10 after that 10-0 uh, deficit. And uh, again, this game 60 minutes long. We played a hell of a 60 minutes uh, as Eagles today uh, in, in a situation where we appreciate the fans, uh, appreciate the uh, weather, uh, and, and most of all appreciate these student athletes that uh, busted their tails today and played extremely well uh, and extremely uh, together at the end of the day. You guys got pretty tricky out there today. Was there any inspiration behind that going into this week? Zero. It's fun. It's fun for the fans, fun for us, fun for my kids when they come home. Hey, is there any plays named after us? You know, Tank, you know, go into his room crying if there's no no play named after him. And Tenley, we name and play after her. And, you know, she's happy that Texas, you know, kind of doesn't know where to, to fall in. But uh, it makes it fun. We're not boring. Uh, we're number one in the nation on offense for a reason uh, because we're innovative. Bo Bodie Reader does a great job. Uh, he's got some guys, and again, five weeks ago, we were wondering what we were going to do without Gage. Everybody wanted to know without Gage, and I'm passionate when I talk about this because it is the people in place. There's competitive depth here, and when you have competitive depth, when you miss a piece, you don't have to reach too far to find the exact piece. Uh, Eric Berry is filled in uh, amicably, uh, and he, he is only going to get better as the career goes on, but uh, it's fun to have trick plays. It's fun. We practice them. If they're not very good, we still try to practice them, make them very good during the week, and it worked out today. There was a late score from them going into the half, and you're someone who's oh. always preached about room for improvement. Uh, yeah. what, how did that change your mood at halftime, if at all? Fired me up. <laughs> Fired me up. I'm a fiery guy. I go, I go real high, and then I get back down to, to earth. Uh, not exciting. I called a timeout thinking that we can maybe get the ball back early on in that drive on a third down. Uh, they ended up moving the sticks and then getting to third down again and, and ripping off that third down run. Both their, both their touchdowns were on third down and they were both runs. Um, and so when you, when you hold Jake Mayer and company to uh, zero passing touchdowns and under 200 yards in a game, uh, you've got a chance. And then you add the five turnovers in, in the mix, uh, you got a heck of a chance. So uh, it, 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 it excites you. Uh, in the moment, but then how do you get better after the moment? We knew we were going to receive the ball to start the half, didn't do anything with it, but then we had the pick six by, by Zoo uh, early on, and that was, that was absolutely awesome to watch. That, I almost got trampled by about 40 of our guys on the sidelines, and if that's the case, so be it. That means we're doing right things. It's been a year, but can you recall how you feel this time last year as opposed to this time? I felt like we had a chance to get in the playoffs last year at this time if we beat Portland State, which we did. You know, last year, that, that's the truth, and I'm kind of too transparent sometimes. Uh, we're, we're six and four going into Portland State at home. I uh, thought we were on a little bit of a run uh, after we, we had the two hiccups midseason, um, but we're never a finished product, and that's not what we haven't figured the world's problems out yet. Certainly haven't figured football's <laughs> problems out yet. We'll st we still have room to improve, even though there are some gaudy numbers that we put up today. Uh, we've, got, we've got a short week. We play on Friday night. Uh, kids will be off tomorrow physically, and we'll get back on the saddle on Monday.